Hey crew, we've got a body weight upper body. Workout today, you don't need any gear except some sort of an incline. I'm gonna use my weight bench, but that's all you're going to need. This is going to be quick. Come at this warm, we're not going to do a warm up together. So walk around the room, foam roll, do whatever you need to do. We're gonna do this circuit style, going through the sets of exercises. I have them down, get some good music on, something that makes you feel motivated and makes you feel strong. So just a little shake out. First exercise is going to be a combo of an incline, push up, great way to build strength in the push up position, and a mountain climber for a little bit of core engagement. You're gonna see core throughout the workout as well. So taking our hands about shoulder width apart, and then <clears throat> pulling in closer if you need less. Otherwise, we're right here. We're going to do a tricep push up, nice and narrow, followed by one and two knees. 10 repetitions, two. So again, my elbows, they're going back because this is a tricep push up. I'm working to keep my back long and straight. And as I'm pushing up, I'm pushing through the heels of my hands. We're breathing, <sighs> keeping our chin tucked just slightly for a nice long neck. So don't be looking up, really wonky. And don't go quick here. So we want those knee pulls to engage the core, but we wanna really keep our shoulders back and down, tucked in towards the spine as we're focused on the upper body today. Good, come out, shake it off. Easy peasy, same move. We're going to use the bench, sorry, same equipment to do some dips. Option, if you don't have anything, you can come on the ground with the feet forward and the fingers forward, and you can dip just like this, keeping your elbows pointed back and lifting your chest, okay? Otherwise, we're coming to this bench. We're gonna scoot out, make sure our fingers are forward and our elbows are back. You have options here. You can bend your knees, you can lengthen them. You do what you wanna do today. Big breath, shoulders back and down. 10, nine. Now, when you're pushing, I want you to think about pushing through the heels of the hands. We wanna really ignite the triceps, those back muscles in your arms, and they're small. It doesn't take much. Keep your butt and your back super close to your bench. This is one of those quick and dirty body weight workouts. Three, two, and one. Shake it off, take a rest if you need it. Next is a push-up combination. So we're coming down to the ground. You can do the push-up portion of the Superman on your knees or on your toes, you get to choose. So we're gonna take our hands to a regular push-up position, draw the elbows in just slightly. Remember, we don't wanna push up like this. We wanna push up like this with our shoulders down and engaged, okay? Nice, strong push-up position. And these are gonna be two for one. So we're gonna go and reach the right arm. Push up and reach the left arm. We're gonna do five reps of these ones. So what you're doing here, you're keeping your torso and your hips square to the floor. You're reaching the hand that's on the ground is pushing down hard. These are challenging, a lot of core engagement as well. So just breathe, be mindful of what your body is doing. Again, 10 reps total. So five little combos here, one more. This may look like a tricep push up, but it's not. Oh my goodness, I feel those ones. Next up, we're going to do some side planks. Works the shoulder and it also works the core. Okay, a lot of options here. Level one, you're gonna come on the ground, right here, elbow, shoulders stacked, arm is up. Level two, if you'd like, you can come up like this, right here. Otherwise, level three, you're coming up, scissoring your feet, lifting from the bottom hip, body's long and it's strong. You're gonna reach and we're gonna go 10. So you're making this nice little arc while you keep pressing and lifting, whether you're in level one, two, or three, making 10 beautiful arcs with your arm, feeling the core engage here. Since we're going through four sets, we'll do right, left, right, left. Two and one. Woo! Good. Okay, next exercise, challenging. It's a pike push-up. We're gonna do lots of variations so that you can find a successful one for you. Level one, you're gonna come, think of like a dive bomber push-up. You're gonna stick your butt in the air and you're gonna do a push-up like this. Forehead going towards the floor, lots of isolation in the shoulders. If you're ready for a little more, same setup, except you're right here, okay? Breathe, you can bend your knees as much as you need to. We're trying to tip forward to get this isolation in the shoulders. Let's go, 10. Doesn't have to be pretty, but dive your head towards the floor. Take the options when you need it. You can also put your feet up on an incline. 
to take some of the pressure off. But I'm gonna dig into it today. Ooh, four, these are tough. Three, two, and one. Taking a break from the wrist right now. We're gonna come down and we're gonna do cross crawls. So take the knees over the hips, tuck in the chin. Again, this is circuit style, so we're gonna continue to work. I hope you got some music on. Two, three, four, big rotation. Elbow to opposite side, 20, okay? 10 each way, two and one. Final exercise of the round for the upper body is a downward facing dog combo with a plank tap. So coming down into a plank, these are your options. You can press back, so you're coming into a plank on the knees and then pressing the arms back at a diagonal. Otherwise, plank, down dog, reach hand to opposite foot, plank, opposite foot. This is the same, 10 total. Three, really push. So the shoulders are down away from your ears. Feel the engagement in the arms. Oh my goodness, and even the upper back as you reach your hips high. We're almost to the first round now. Things should be warm, should be feeling the shoulders, should be feeling the arms. One more. Stand up, bonus points if you kind of walk back to your feet. Feel your arms, oh, I just bumped my butt. I made you have a big booty, you know what I'm saying? All right, we ready? Round two. Tricep push up with the climber. You don't need to go quickly. 10 reps, okay? Remember, arm positioning, narrow for tricep push up so the shoulders go down and the elbows stay in. One, march. Think about pulling your knees forward and up while you keep your back long, flat, and straight. Breathe, three, Keep your shoulders back and down. You remember the option. You can bring your feet in closer to your bench. You can do these on the floor so that everything is done from the knees. 10 reps, you guys. Each rep is one push up and two knees. One more. Ooh, feel that. Sticking with the triceps, little tricep superset. Dips, either the ground version that I showed you, feet far or feet close but lift through the upper body, okay? Fingers forward, elbows back, 10. Don't rush these. Try to get some range by going a little lower and really concentrating on keeping your shoulders down as you come to the top. Breathe in, breathe out. I'm feeling my arms, you guys. Four, three, two, and one. Yes! Coming down for that Superman push-up combo. Roll the wrists if you need it, knees or toes, regular push-up position, retract those shoulders, brace those abs. One, two, just breathe. Try to work that range with a strong core and a body that stays square to the floor. If you move all wonky and roll open through the shoulders and the hips, you're taking the work out of what we want, which is the core and the upper body. You gotta be really stable, these are hard. You're capable. One more. Side plank now. Other side, remembering the options. Either right here, completing the move this way, right here, or up here with me. Make sure your shoulder is stable, so really brace across the shoulder girdle, and then we're making these beautiful arcs. One, think about your bottom hip. Lift up and through your bottom hip. Breathe. Hard to stay still and steady while you're working, right? Just hang on. Three, two, and then don't rush out of it. Stay in it, stay in it. Yes. Pike push up. Remember the options, hands close, knees down. The deal is that dead bummer position. The reason for that is to isolate your shoulders, okay? It's not so you fall on your face, so be mindful. See if I can avoid the booty tap this time. My butt is large and in charge. Relax your face. Make sure you're taking really strong, strong breaths. I hope your shoulders are burning like mine. I hope you're feeling challenged like I am. It's a good thing. It's good to do movements out of the norm. Sometimes it's good to take weights away and remind yourself that you're capable and that you don't need gear to get a good workout in three. 
two, and one. Knees come down, we keep moving. Cross crawl, two for one. This is your easy exercise. Remember, you can also bend your knees if you don't feel like lifting the legs off the floor through the rotation. Here we go. One, two, big twist from the center of the chest. Five, bigger, six, keep your lower back down. Eight, nine, 10. Beautiful. Grab the back of the knees, roll up, shake it, shake it off. I know, I'm a good singer. You don't have to tell me. push up. Just kidding, plank tap. You're like, oh my God, not yet. We already did that. Okay, plank, walk back and tap. Remembering the option on the knees, coming into that quadruped plank. Otherwise, really challenge here by coming into a full plank and then pushing into the ground with a stable arm. The pelvis lights up the shoulders, all the big stabilizer muscles in the upper back as well. Try to keep your face and jaw relaxed so you have the energy where you need it, which is in your shoulders and in your arms. Two more. Oh my goodness. Round two, you guys. Just like that. Let's hit three. Let's hit it. Break if you need it. My hair's flying. You guys see it? I wonder how many hair left. Here we go. Try push up. Nice and narrow. Elbows back. You'll feel the head of the shoulder go back. Actively push through the heels of your hands. Actively brace through your lower abdominals as you pull your knees up. Feel how this works your entire body. The core, the back is helping you stay stable. Your arms, of course, are pushing your beautiful body up and down. All good things. Three, oh, two. Why did I say it before rounds? Three would have been good, but no, we're at it now. Gotta keep the unilateral movements even, right? You don't wanna be off balance. See if I can do my legs out for the dip. You don't need to. So floor dip, body weight dip, whatever you need. Chest is up, no turtlenecks, no collapsing through the upper body. Two. What's that line? It's cheesy, but it's true. If it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. Is your butt and your low back, are they close to the bench? Are they close to your incline? Three, two, one. Oh, breathe, breathe. Superman, I'll go to the side this time. Remember, square and strong. Hands to regular push-up position, retract and strengthen so that your whole body is working. You, of course, if you're ready, are doing these on your toes. I prefer to show the most relatable option when I can. And I can also get better range and do a prettier push-up like this. So that's what I'm choosing today. But I need you to choose what challenges your body, what makes you sweat, what makes your arms burn. That is what we're doing. Two, one. Oh, anyone else? Triceps and shoulders. Oh, my lanta. Push up into that side plank. So what we're doing, you remember your option. I'm gonna stay on my knee this time and my elbow. So I'm lifting from the bottom hip. I'm gonna lift my leg up though. That feels good today. Remember, nice long horizontal line, okay? Sweep. Now as you're moving your arm, don't let your hips lower. Push your forearm into the ground. Breathe all across your strong shoulders and all across your strong upper body. Capable, steady, strong. Capable, steady, and strong. One more. Take a big breath. Take a big breath. Who knows what's next? It's your favorite. It's the pike push-up. Oh, if you were feeling like a badass, you could get up there and do it. I'm just saying. I'm not going to do that. It's alienating. No one likes it, but you could be that person because I can't see you. <laughs> Tuck your chin. The go-getter. The extra, extra. Read all about it. Some days we got to do that when we're home. And it doesn't make anyone else feel bad. It's even better, right? <sighs> Breathe. Let your shoulders do this work. Don't shy away from it. Your hands are big and they're strong on the floor. You're not going to fall on your face. Your arms have got you. Steady. Three. Oh, man. Two. I'm feeling it, you guys. And one. <sighs> Cross crawl. That's good, though. We're getting close now. We're over three quarters now. 
Ready? Here we go. I'm gonna add it, I'm gonna make it a little harder. I'm gonna take my legs away from me. Brace the abs, lower back is down. One, two. Still rotating, still pointing my toes. My legs are long. Big movement through my upper back, my thoracic spine. Four, three, two, one. Grab the knees, roll up, shake it off. Okay, ready? Plank to that down dog tap. Strong plank, push. One. Strong plank, push. Two. Your eye gaze goes behind you. As your butt pikes in the air, your arms are so strong. We're gonna be done quick. So this is where I need you to start pushing. When things start to burn and you're like, three rounds is good, no. Let's get in that fourth one. Let's finish what we started. Two more. Beautiful burn in my shoulders, I like that. Nice pump going on. The bod loves it, they do. All right, pep talk time, one more round. Let's do it. If you've been saving an option that's a little more challenging, now's the time, okay? One. Two, we're gonna hit these all one more time and we're going to absolutely own it. Use that motivation that you don't have to repeat any of the movements to push the last set just a little bit more. That's where strength comes in. Are your elbows narrow? Is your back long? Is your core engaged? Three, yes you can, two more. Modify if you need to, do not give up. I'm not there to push you. I need you to push yourself a little harder than you normally would. Here we go. Whew. 10 dips. Like you own it, girl. Here we go. 10, nine, elbows back. Heels of the hands. No turtlenecks. Eye gaze forward. Butt close. Do all these things, you guys. Get the most out of your sweat. The most out of your movement. You are worth it and this is worth it. Three, two, and one. Anyone else's triceps burning? Okay, Superman, 10 more. I'm sorry, I clap a lot, it's annoying. It's an annoying habit. I hope your music is up. <laughs> okay, 10. Body wants to open, not gonna let it. Arms, abs, chest, back. Feel all of it. Use all of it. Four more, you guys. Four. Three, I know my hair's like a mane, it's out of control. Two, one more, one more. One, ooh. Oh my gosh. Okay, side plank, right here. I like to do what I did on one side on the other. It doesn't matter what challenges your core. So come on up, I'm lifting my leg, pointing my toes so pretty. Not thinking about how my arms are burning. Three. Push through your forearm, you guys. Are you using your abs or is your body just hanging out? Everything on, everything engaged. You really wanna max out right now. This is your time. This is your moment. Three. Two. And one. Oh. Okay, last set of pipe push-ups. We have three exercises left, you guys. Three exercises. Booyah, this is it. I'm gonna try to walk my hands a little closer to my feet, my feet a little closer to my hands, tucking the chin. Let's kill these shoulders. You want a good looking arm, a strong supported arm, stable upper body, shoulder strength. You know the options for these. Just because I'm doing something different than you, you don't get to tap out or look. Finish. One more, one more. Oh! Last set of cross crawls. Here we go. Let's pick the hard option. Let's just do it. Ready? Here we go. 10, nine, really reach, eight. Seconds left now, guys. No excuses. Bigger rotation. Working that side bod, working that waistline. Two and one. Finale. Plank to down dog tap. Pull up your pants if you need to. Here we go. Oh, my arms. Yes. Ten. Counting down with me. Nine. Full body strength. 
eight, workup's almost in the bag. Seven, yes you can, you guys. Just breathe and work. You're about to feel so good, so accomplished, without using anything but a bench. Amazing. Possibly nothing at all. Three, two, and one. Walk it back, shake it off, find a good stretch, awesome job. It's your workout of the day, I hope you enjoyed that.